Goodwin's research against the Order of Ancients. I need your eyes, my friend. There was method to these cuts. Not bandit rapple, but a trained Saxon warrior.
been avenged, my friend. I am grateful for your help. It is a brazen move to arrest Alfred's favorite Reed. This so-called order are nothing but deviled shit peddlers. Shit peddlers who have wormed their way into every crevasse of your country. They are dangerous. I didn't catch your name, did I? Eivor of the Raven Clan. Scourge of Mercia, if that name does not rattle some recognition. Well, Eivor, when our three heretics smolder on a heap of ash, we'll down a cup of ale together and share our distaste of Mercians like old friends. I found this nailed on a door. The quill wheels words like a knife. A disputation of tutelage. Pretty chatter with poisoned intent. I will look into this more. Alfred believes at least one is dead. Your bishop, Aelfirth, was the six. Bugger. Half of Winchester is in mourning for that nun groper. The Gallows. What do you know of him? Must be another Reeve, I'm sure of it. Only we have the power to mete out justice. And this one would walk with cocksure righteousness. The Gallows had you arrested, so he must command the law. Reeve Selwyn. Of course. That hedge pig has brought down laws like a hammer on Winchester, executing sinners on spurious charges in the square. Could it be another? He's the man. He's the only one who fits. End his terror, Eivor. I need your eyes, my friend. Give me Alfred's jewel, I will. I shall win in your dumpers. Is this what you want, you filthy twiddler? A pond full of pins? I'm happy to oblige. Your last warning! Give me Elfrid's trinket or I'll piddle in your pawn! Is this what you want, you filthy swindler? A pawn full of... Good people of Winchester, open your eyes. 
See how Alfred's lofty ideals are weighed down in this mire of human effluence. These prisoners before you do not live by Alfred's laws. They live above them. They wallow in shit, only guided by their own perversity. Hubert here, his wits addled by ale, spoke false of Bishop Aylforth, our pious servant of Winchester, who even now lies cold in his grave shroud. Aylforth was no man of God. He'll burn for his sins. Your wife is a baying shrew, Hubert. Is there a man here who has not sup rancid mead from her cup? When will your work be done, Selwyn? When all of Winchester falls to your justice? Between his Swickland moves. Quality! Quality, Erla! The way, guys! Let us that horse to the home! Winchester has passed judgment, Hubert. May God have mercy on your cankerous soul. <laughs> There is no longer freedom in Winchester. None are safe from his blade. And Alfred has set the traps. You cannot steal and be welcome at our heart. Selwyn punishes criminals, as it should be. He's the worst criminal of them all! Mocking our laws, our king's edict. And so I ask, who has the right to determine the fate of the perverse people of Winchester? Leona, you have been found guilty of harlotry and defamation. May God have mercy on your pockmarked soul. Perverter of justice, who dares execute the king's noose? It is not in Alfred's name that you carry out your work. You are the Order's executioner. <laughs> you peer through the veil, but you do not see clearly. Alfred's laws are a slave's fever dream. He offers shit-soaked beggars a seat at his table. Where the meek devour the strong. Who best to judge the fate of the wretched many, if not the strong and worthy few? To protect your people, you must sheathe your hand in an iron glove. You grind your heels into the backs of freedmen, not those who deserve it. The Order condemns all men to pain. For all men are but a shadow of the perfection we should know. The perfection of the Ancient Ones. You are only a man, Reed. One dead branch on a fast-dying tree. See what he has found on the quill. Past 
about this land, my friend. Heaven will swallow the smoke of Aelfeth's pyre? Very poetic. But he's going to be buried in the grounds of the Minster. Ah, now we can always pay our respects. Thread your wings, Sunan. Spirit dries up the bones. Does Magister Batter not teach you the scriptures? Magister Batter is a horse's dangles. And here is the axe I used to swat a fly. You have ventured from your burrow. And you have plunged my city into chaos. I had hoped you would use the lessons of your subtler gods. We have no subtle gods. If the gallows is truly dead, perhaps we can allow cautious revelry? I did only what I agreed to, Alfred. If your crown now weighs heavy, I would gladly take it from you. <sighs> Forgive my outburst. God sowed in me a passion, but English prose is an instrument long out of tune. We all want better for our people, don't we, Eivor? Yours and ours. The quill remains. What do we know? The decay of learning has been gentle in Wessex. We enjoy the office of wise men, but we have neglected the study of wisdom. The quill preys on this lapse. Did you discover more from the writings I found? I did. The quill is calling the children of Winchester to arms. Now we know why so many children scurry through the streets, feral and untutored. I can talk to some, see where they lead me. Good. Find me at the alehouse when you're done. And try not to scare the piss from any of them. We Norse are the monsters of your Saxon mother's bedtime tales. I promise nothing. 